What is up guys, so today it's been a long journey and we finally come here. We've come from a five gallon salt water. Now, today, we're gonna be setting up the 16 gallon salt water aquarium. We went to the local fish store today, got a few extra corals. We'll show you guys later those new little corals. And so we basically got everything we need. We got our crushed coral right here, about 20 pounds, all of our sand, our base rock, 10 pounds of dry rock, and some live rock to seed the aquarium. So as you guys know, the corals in there are starting to get pretty big in the five gallon tank. So eventually when they outgrow the five gallon, they'll be moved to here. This will be basically our centerpiece in the living room besides their good old friend Scooter right over there. This will be an awesome little reef tank. What do you think of it, Max? Gonna be pretty cool? Yeah? Yeah? Okay, gotcha. So guys, enough jibber jabbering. Let's get right into this video. Let's clean this substrate, put it down, get the rock in, and I'll see you guys in a sec. What is up, guys? We are now back. We washed the rock. We washed the crushed coral. And now we're ready for the next part. Let's put some of the substrate in so that the rock has a bed so that it doesn't scratch the bottom of the tank when you put it in there. Put in our first piece of rock. Let's decide here. Definitely let's get this first big base rock in here. This side looks the best. Set that in right there. From here, we're just gonna build it up. Eventually. And just like that guys, we are ready to go. So, let me quickly vacuum this little mess up and I'll be right back with y'all. Alrighty guys, I am back. I cleaned up the mess and now it's time to start adding the water. Ah, nice and heavy. Just the way I like it. A few moments later. And just like that, she's full of good old salt water. There she is in all of her glory. So as you guys know, the next step in setting up this aquarium, we got to go ahead, get everything plugged in. I'm going to take a quick break because that was heavy and I'll see you guys in a second. What's up guys? It's been about a week. We let it clear up, start cycling. So now let's do an update on this tank. As you can see, it's looking very good. It's fully cleared up. We are starting to see some diatoms on the rocks which means it has started the cycle very good and if we made a few little uh touch-ups here and there so we replaced the lid with this for our light this is egg crate from lowe's a big sheet of egg crate we cut it to the size of the aquarium cut out the middle and instead of having this completely throughout because that blocks more light we put bird netting in the middle. As you see, it's really, really thin, so it lets a lot of light through, but keeps the fish in. That's what we want. So, this was a quick, easy $12 lid. Works perfect, and still allows for good aeration as the filter hits the water, creates that. And with all the surface tension and oxygen exchange, make sure 
it maintains pH. With salt water, pH is everything. On average, a reef tank is about 7.8 to 8.3 on the pH scale. And with this open air design, it allows it to maintain about 8.2 is what my personal uh, observations have been on this tank so far with this open air design. So that's right smack dab perfect where I want it. And it plus looks really, really good. I mean, you can see through this really clear. It gives it also the natural shimmer as you guys can see. Because if that light was blocked a lot, we would get less of a shimmer. So that's all we have today, guys, for the video. This will be just one of the many updates for this aquarium. We already have some awesome corals planned for it. So if you guys like the video, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. Tell me what you liked about the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Have an awesome day. See you.